Cabra Mona Laddies, my name is Chad, and welcome to the Custom Card Reviews. And, yeah, I'm taking my favorite game, Super Mario Party, and the Yu-Gi-Oh, and fusing them together. So, being, yeah, because I like both of them. In their own respective fields. And yeah. So. In, so far this is the. Only. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Six cards. That's okay. So. Let's start off with a. Intro. Who's one. He's Super Mario you know, Party. Or they all have that like first name thing but this is bone turtle he's a earth dragon effect monster if this card is sent to the graveyard you can special summon this card from your graveyard to your field in attack mode but its type turns into zombie type monster if it does, you can add one spell slash trap card from your deck or graveyard or bench onto your hand. <laughs> so it's once per turn, so yeah. And then that's why he has a zombie thing. Now, we move on to Boo. If this card is in your graveyard, you can supposed to summon this card from your graveyard to your field. In attack mode, but it's a attack points become four thousand attack points. It or if it does, you can activate one of these following effects for once per turn. Once per turn, if this card attacked by your opponent's monster before damage calculations, you could pay one hundred life points to negate that attack and end their turn. And number two is both players switches life points. Basically, if you took damage, you are now, you activate that Sangha effect. You could switch your opponent's opponents on their turn. Hmm. Basically, aka, you could just, done. Yeah. And then this is one. Wario. Once per turn during your opponent's draw phase, you can select three cards from your opponent's hand to be added to your hand. This pro probably breaks the, the rule. Like, you could just choose three cards and your opponent would have just done nothing and if they had exodia example you could have taken three exodia pieces to be added to your hand if this card is sent to the grave or banishone you could special summon this card from anywhere to your field in attack mode but its attack points become double the attack points if it does you can Add two cards from your deck to your hand. And this card can't be like negated by card effects. So basically, yeah. Hammer Turtle. Oh, once per turn, you during your opponent's draw phase, your opponent takes 1,000 points of damage. That's insane. If you waited eight turns on your opponent's turn, then it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight turns, you would basically win without counting. But if this card is in your graveyard, you can summon this card from anywhere to your field in attack mode. 
If it does, you, you gain 500 life points for each level this card has. So this card allows you know, to basically inflict damage, and you also recover that life points. Basically, you could just get yourself to 1 HP or life points and use like someone like Boo at and it so it would be like flip them them you could just switch your life points with your opponents and you could just just use like his like waiting ability like you wait for your opponent to do go Boom. Yeah. So, yeah. That's two cards AFK things. Like, use this one. Use this one. And if you really want a greedy one, you could just choose three cards from your opponent's deck. Or hand, sorry. To be added to your hand for each turn. Yeah. And then, this one is maps basically once per turn during your opponent's draw phase you could you must roll a dice and then you activate one of these following effects for once per turn number one both players must draw nine cards from the top of their decks or yeah to their hand and then discard five cards. Both players. And two or three. You could add two cards. For spells or trap cards. From your. Anywhere to your. Hand. And. Four or five. Both players must discard all cards from their hands to the graveyard. And. And both players draw cards from the top of their decks to their hands until they have seven cards. And then number six is re-roll the dice. So basically, some cards in this archetype is like, basically you could use your opponent's cards. Like you could just use... Like this one to steal three cards. You could use this one. You roll a. Uh, four or five cards. Or, yeah. And then you could just use. This one. To bring. Be brought back. And. And. This one is sent to the grave. Special summon. And then there's this one. Item dice. Sorry about that. Yeah. And this one has a different effect. And that's E-F-F-E-C-T. Just to clarify that up. Once per turns during your end phase, you can roll the dice and then you can activate one of these following effects. One or two, you can add one spell card from your um, anywhere to your hand. Three or four, you could add two trap cards from your, from anywhere to your hand. Five and six, you can special summon one Super Mario Party monster from anywhere to your field in attack mode. If you have a Super Mario Party map on the field, or field spell on the field or graveyard, you can 
choose one of these effects instead of rolling the dice. So, so you basically, like if you had that card, you could have just choose one of these effects. Like, to bring out, like, him or him. <clears throat> hmm? Because, because these, this one, you could have just used this one to basically bring out, out everything. Plus, you, it's only once per turn, so basically, yeah. And you can select three cards from a top of you. Yeah. My better odds is, for my luck, would rather be with Wario. Because with this run on the field and this run, you could have just you could roll the dice and take three cards from your opponent. No and I forgot to mention this card even can't be chained to it. So like Ash Blossom or something that Chain aims to it. Can't even be used. Neither would this card. So. Yeah. Basically you could just. Boom. You could sum special summon like. Like him and him. On the field. And you could send. You had Boo and the Bone Turtle. Or actually, you would have just soon send Boo to the graveyard. You could special summon it. And yeah. You could. It doesn't have once per turn. Or only for it's like two most powerful effects. And yeah. Plus, it, its attack points are crazy. So then, yeah. If you had that card. But if you got... If you played it in Exodia deck. Sent all five pieces to Exodia... Or to the graveyard. And draw seven cards. You could have just, like... Be like... No... But if you had a contract with the Zodia spell card, you could uh, special summon whatever that monster is. <laughs> Endless possibilities. Yeah. So, which card should I do next? Let me show you the image. I was thinking about this one. On turns your or whoever gets equipped by this card into vampire types. Names and nothing else. And then this one would probably be like destroys all cards from the field. Own. And yeah. Bounce your opponent or bounce your cards away from. Yeah. And then you could just make the opponent lose how many turns. You gain, or you're, a, yeah. And this one would be for, like, you could ju just swap the character, swap those cards out to best summon each other's from. Yeah, you could have just used, like, Oreo, him, him, 
for him to be switched out with like somebody like Daisy or anyone. You could also use the trap card of Bowser thing to allow you to basically make your opponent suffer for what they have done to you. And that meant my first attempt on drawing the Bowser. Bowser. Yeah, Bowser and Mario fused together. I was going to say if Bowser, Mario, and Princess Peach had a kid that, yeah, that. I don't know. I'm letting you all decide the card effects. And if you do who make these, send them to my Twitter. Okay. Or send them to du the duel logs. Maybe he will probably review them. It's been almost a month or year since he did custom cards. Yeah. For me, aim. These six would be probably broken their own fields or any other. They only have like once per turn. Like some of them are broken. <clears throat> like literally. Like you could uh, just steal your opponent's cards. You could inflict damage to them. But it also, there's one drawback to... If you use, like, this card and your opponent's uh, down to 100 life points. And you use Boo's effect. So you would have just been instantly killed. Home. I just realized that when I made this card. So, yeah. It basically... Yeah. But... If you use like one of, or if you use this one, like Spesa summons it, then you gain 500 life points for each one. So it won't be a total loss. It's like nine, or no, you gain 5, 10, 15, 20. 20. Like life points back. Or no, 200? No, 2,000 life points back. And you get 3,000. So yeah, if you had like three of these, you would instantly win the duel, bro. Like, you could have just you, you would send them all to the grave. Because this one would be with this one. You could special summon this card to your, or <coughs> to your field in attack mode. And then this one wouldn't be 4,000. And basically, you who wins win the duel. Because these ones, like this one, mm -hmm. you could have just, just summon it, and it would have more attack points. It's like his farting thing. Yeah. So, I'm trying to make it look more toned down. And, yeah, and this one, and... I'll give it or this archetype that I made for because I'm huge on Super Mario Party. 
friendly the games so yeah I'm not copying them by the way I I just thought about if I use who's their game like Mario Party like old games with dueling book or Yu-Gi-Oh to see how it will work in modern day Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, so yeah. Do you like these cards? And this one or this one? I'm also adding like mushroom, the one that I drew up there. Yeah. Here. Where is that mushroom? Hold on. This one. I tried to draw it pretty good. Plus, I forgot to mention that I could add all these ones from here. From here all the way up. With the check marks, yeah, I add all those to. To see how a game, or how dueling book would use them. So, yeah. So, in different ways. Means. So, You could have just rolled the dice and mix the mice and yeah. So I want to see all you who, all you guys, just do like make a his archetype a little bit more realistic. Like you could you could just use a fusion, like fuse both of them together. Yeah, so, have fun, you guys, so, peace out.